Good morning, everybody. Big River here. Uh, today is Thursday, August 6th. It's about 9 in the morning. And um, I'm sitting out in my friend Jen's uh, property. And um, behind me, you'll see this beautiful teepee. And um, I'll give you a little history of this teepee. Um, it was actually uh, used, owned and used by a Cheyenne medicine woman. Uh, it's an actual Cheyenne teepee. And um, yeah, my friend Jen now is the caretaker of this teepee out here. She was blessed with it. And um, Jen's got a wonderful piece of property. And I'm going back to my videos on home. It's been kind of plaguing me lately because I don't really feel at home here in Wisconsin anymore, and I've stated that in other videos. And um, what's interesting, I'll give you a little backstory. When I was in Finland before I went to Sweden, I was feeling kind of homesick. And as I dug into that feeling, I realized that all the work I'd been doing on myself, that my old stories really didn't resonate with me anymore, and I, was, I felt kind of lost. And I was feeling kind of homesick. I wanted to get back here to like my native friends. That, that was the only thing that kind of felt like home. And so now I'm sitting here <laughs> next to a Cheyenne teepee. <laughs> beautiful. And it was a beautiful sunny morning. And let me finish up a little bit on that backstory. I, I received an email from a, a really good friend of mine. Um, who's a you know, world famous spiritual teacher and she told me that I don't have to feel homesick because I well, she didn't say you didn't feel homesick she said basically that my home is inside myself which if you remember my Shaco Canyon video that was the message I got there that's why those people were able to leave all those buildings because their home wasn't those buildings weren't their home um, the same with the Cheyenne <coughs> the Lakota Sioux Cheyenne people these teepees were made to move around these were this is temporary housing uh, very good temporary housing but wasn't really their home their home was their people so I think I've answered my own question where's my home and it's really with my people I feel so at home when I'm visiting my friends who I love dearly um, you know and I'm I've got some dear friends that always have their doors open to me and I always feel so home there. And it's really when I'm all by myself, like like this, when I'm visiting back home here in Wisconsin where I, I feel uh, that homesick feeling because I don't, this place is not my home anymore, if that makes sense. So I'm setting the intention here that I'm going to really start living with my people, my tribe, and um, maybe that's why you're watching this. Maybe we're supposed to be living together, building something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I have multiple homes with multiple sets of people. I'm, I'm a uniter. So that's kind of my intention here. I've kind of answered my question. My home is inside myself. It's not a place. It's not this land. It's not the building that I, I purchased or something like that. My home is inside myself. And it was so evident with these native people, right? They, they got their strength from, if you rewatch my Shaco Canyon video, I, I talk about that. Um, their strength was in their people, in their hearts. It wasn't in the buildings, the brick and mortar of those buildings, which is why they were able to walk away. <coughs> Excuse me. So I guess I just wanted to share that rambling today with you. I've, I've answered my question and that's really my next step is to find people to live with. Um, I have some open invitations. Maybe I'll live with them. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet how this is all going to unfold, but that's my intentions is to start building a home with some people, more of the people than the place. So I just wanted to share that this morning. So. All right, everybody, I love you very much. Uh, Big River here again, sitting in front of this beautiful Cheyenne TP at my friend Jen's. Um, 
if you want to visit her her land is amazing it's her place is called the soul source in west bend wisconsin it's on wildwood drive just kind of north and and west of the city of west bend beautiful piece of property it's old farmland that hasn't been tilled and not looking at the size of the trees probably like 30 years i would say probably and everything's just kind of grown up and she takes care of this land and she loves this land and this land is powerful and very healing so come give this place a special place to visit if you're in wisconsin it's beautiful all right everybody i love you guys have a great day create a great day for yourselves and um i'll see you all soon okay oh